Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mei and today I'm going to talk about the Dyson Airstream. I managed to get my hands on the very cute Sakura pink version of it. So it has like really nice chrome pink color and a light pink here. Right now, my hair is after styled with the Airstream for like a couple hours. As you can see, it's still pretty much straight and like it still has the really nice shine to it. I'm gonna do like a quick touch up to show you how it works. Here, there's like a couple buttons. This is the screen. The first button button is the temperature control, the second one is the airflow speed, the third one is the cold shot, and then the fourth one is the switch between wet hair or dry hair, and then lastly is the power mode. And then on this side, there's just one button here, this is to lock this thing. So to keep it clamped close, there's like a filter here where you can remove and clean whenever it's dirty. And then one thing different is that these plates, you can pull them out so you get better airflow and to clean the thing as well. Every time this boots up, it'll take like 3 seconds to do like a self-cleaning. I'm going to change it to dry hair mode and do like a quick touch up, even though I honestly I don't think I need one. So this is my hair after it's touch up. Yep, so my first impression of this thing is that it's very beautiful. Obviously, it comes in this very beautiful color. I like that you can dry your hair with this, so you don't have to use like a separate straightener. The benefit of this air straight is that you get to use it on a wet hair. So how do I use this thing is that after shower, I'll usually take off the plates here, these two. I'll lock it in position, and then I'll use this part to dry my roots. So one thing about this is that you really have to dry your roots because the airflow is going downwards, so you, you don't have anything here. Right? So imagine like straightening your hair but the roots is still wet. It takes about 2 to 5 minutes. Uh, my hair is not dense. The difficult part is actually the back of my head. It, it takes some maneuvering. Honestly, I think the wind flow is stronger than the hair dry attachment of the air wrap. And because the airflow is coming in this straight direction, you can easily park it horizontally and blow dry a section. And then after that, I'll put these things back on and then I'll start blow drying my hair. It's very easy. I usually use the medium speed and the medium temperature. Of course, you can go higher, but I feel like the whole purpose of this thing is that you want to take care of your hair, right? And then I'll start clamping and pulling downwards. When I'm lazy, I'll just go one pass, but if I'm really into it, I'll do two passes. I think the best way to dry is to separate your hair into two parts and then blow dry the bottom part first. And then the way that I segment my hair is that I try to do it in horizontal sections. So instead of pulling like a straight vertical sections like this, I'll go like horizontally. You have to make sure your hair stays in this part because this is where there's like a rubbery smooth thing here. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this. So the pro is definitely uh, it's very pretty and uh, it dries your hair pretty quickly. I really like that I don't have to worry so much about heat damage while I get to achieve straight and sleek hair. And the other thing is that I don't even use a comb. Like I don't even need to use a comb. People might worry that it doesn't give you volume. For me, I think it does give enough volume. I dry my roots on the opposite direction. So for because I do like a side part, right? So I'll really dry it here so that there's some volume here. If you want more volume, especially at the front of your face, you can actually clamp it this way and then blow it backwards like this. And then for the front part, I'll do the same. I'll clamp it this way and then I'll blow it backwards as well. I think it gives more volume than just regular drying like straight down. And of course, I'll go with like a cool shot afterwards because I find that using a cool shot uh, helps to set the hair and it gives the hair a little bit more shine. The only con about this thing is that it's slightly more pricey compared to regular flat irons. The GHD that I mentioned and I've used in the channel before, I find that that one is way more versatile because you get to do curly hair and you can straighten your hair as well. So if you're able to get this from like say a Sephora sale, it's definitely worth it if it's 20% off. There's nothing much that I would complain about this. The brick is actually far enough from this thing. There's enough length here that I don't feel the weight of it. I would say the first few times that I use it, my hands are a little crampy because I'm not very used to this motion. So it it strains, it gives some tension on the palm of your hands. This one is definitely easier to learn than the air wrap. I think if you are someone that likes 
uh, straight hair, straight and sleek hair if you want quicker hair drying processes like you don't want to be drying your hair and then styling it afterwards you want to have like a one and done product I'll definitely recommend this if you have a, an air wrap and you're thinking if you need the air straight I would say yes because they do different purposes I still love my air wrap I find that there's nothing that gives like blow up curls like the air wrap does but I think this is what I use more on a day to day basis because I like to keep my hair straight and sleek uh, this is the style that I tend to go for for like a regular day and I can achieve this every day right now like I get shiny hair every day and I get very excited to dry my hair because uh, it's just so fun to use thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye